We're here for Melissa Ramirez. Melissa Ramirez is gone. Her life was ended early because Juan David Ortiz decided it was time to take her off of this earth. Took her from her family, took her from her friends. Nobody has the right to do that, ladies and gentlemen. She was not a perfect human being, but none of us are. And everyone is entitled to the protection of the law. We're here for Claudine Luera. One gunshot wound to the back of her head. Remember I told you in opening that we would take you back to those horrific moments right before they died? You see, every moment has a story, has a theory. We will go into that shortly as to what happened in those last seconds. Those last seconds before this self-proclaimed monster put a bullet in the back of her head. We're here for her. We're here for Griselda Cantu. <coughs> Shot twice and beaten almost beyond recognition. Blood force trauma. Again, by the same, same self-proclaimed monster that said he didn't want to hear her talk about the Lord. He didn't want forgiveness. He told her, San Antonio is that way. Laredo's that way. Get walking. And when she made that fateful turn to come back to his truck, he decided, I'm taking this bitch out. and leaves her in the street. We're here for her. And finally, Janelle Ortiz. We're here for Janelle Ortiz. Who in his confession, he so obnoxious, he says, I didn't even know, I didn't even know that one. I thought she was gonna put up a fight. She asked me, are you going to kill me? Yeah. Get off the truck. The only one, the only one that didn't put up a fight. As he put one 40 caliber Smith & Wesson hollow point in the back of her head. And what does he do? The evidence showed, went back to San Bernardo. Thank God that the bolo was out and that Trooper Bradshaw had his head on a swivel and was able to spot the truck. Imagine for a second what else was going to happen after he came out of that restroom and continued to hunt. He was on the hunt. Objection, Your Honor. None of the evidence. Well, again, the jury knows what the evidence is. So. so what I want you to do, and I'll ask you and I'll plead for you, that when you go into the jury room, put these pictures up. First thing, put these pictures up on the wall, on the side. Because that's who we're here for. For these four victims. They will guide you through the evidence that was obtained through, from their bodies in placing Ortiz at the crime scene. They spoke. He tried to silence them. But the science doesn't lie. Right? Remember what Daniel said? The science doesn't lie. And it was the science taken from some of these victims' bodies that puts Ortiz 
there as the killer 